Three, two, one. Okay, this movie I put, I uh, I submitted this to a Nickelodeon film festival where um, if they watched your movie and they uh, liked it, they would put it on the, the uh, television. And I lost. I lost. Uh, I did not win. Guess they did not like my movie, so huh. that's the end of that. Anyway, now you can tell this is in the middle of Clay World off the table because if you look in the background, you'll see the antenna, and then if you watch Clay World off the table, you'll see that same antenna in the same spot. So that's how you know that um, this is a. Uh, this is right around when I was making Clay World off the table. Like, right in the middle of it. And, uh, God. I think Clay World off the table could have been really better. But it was still good to me. I haven't seen it since October. Um, that's the thing with me. I don't... Like, when I first make a movie, I'll watch it a million times, and I'll love it. But once it's out, and I know that thousands and thousands of people have seen it, I don't watch it anymore. Because it's just... It's too embarrassing. And then, uh, so yeah, once Clay Roll Off the Table was out, uh, I haven't, I haven't watched it. It's just way too embarrassing for me. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm insecure. Who knows? Anyway, I don't know why I made this movie. I think I was just desperate for ideas. Cause like I said, when you're in the middle of a full feature movie, all your ideas go there. So you, you're kind of like reaching into the bottom of a barrel bottom of the barrel of ideas once you uh you know <laughs> he just pops up so yeah I was see the thing here is that every time I came up with a good joke I'd um I'd kind of be afraid to use it for a short movie because I was so focused on making clay wool off the table into a really funny movie that that every joke that I made went to the full feature movie. So I guess it's safe to say that all of these jokes here are just rejected jokes that I didn't think were good enough for the movie. So yeah. So so like I'll come up with a funny idea and I'm like, wow, that's friggin' hilarious. I'll put that in the short. This will be my new glass of water. And then, you know, at the last minute, I'm like, yeah. you know, I claim off the table movie is starting to suck. I should really put this joke in there instead. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was Peter the Pickle. Who People don't seem to think that I do that voice, but I do. That is me. Uh, I think the only person, besides Claire off the table, I think the only person that has done voices in my movie that wasn't me was um was Dan Platt Paladin Dan Platt Singe. I'll just say Singe before I screw his name up. And that was when he played the fat guy in Peter the Pickle. Anyway. Yeah. So this is all just crap that wasn't good enough for Clay Roll off the table. So there you go. And then Uh, but, uh, it's still funny. I mean, what can I say? I'm the best. I'm a genius. Um, now I'm just killing time. So, how many hats does it take to build a mountain of hats? How many hats does it take to build a mountain of hats? How many hats does it take to build a mountain of hats?